Now for this question we're given this uniform lamina and asked to find the centre of mass from the edges then AB and BC. So to do this what I'd want to do first of all is just put some axes on. So we'll have uh, X axis across here and Y axis up from here on this edge. Just mark that in. So our origin then is at B. Next I would want to locate the centre of mass of various shapes. We need to split this up into shapes. And how you split it up is up to you. We've got the two triangles here and here and I'm going to draw a dotted line down here. Have this rectangle and then this rectangle. So as I say it's up to you how you decide to divide this section up but uh, basically the principles are still going to remain much the same. Next what I'm going to want to do is locate the center of mass of the various shapes that we have here. Now for this rectangle here the center of mass is going to be in the middle. So if we just mark it here we need to get the coordinates of this point. And so for the x-coordinate it's going to be in from the edge AB half of 9 units. So its x-coordinate is going to be 4.5 or we'll just leave it as 9 over 2. As for the y-coordinate, the distance up from here, well this distance is 9. We've got 18 units up here, 18 centimetres. So that's going to be a total distance of 27 centimetres so we need to divide that by 2 and that's going to be 27 then over 2. So we've got the centre of mass of that one. Let's go for the centre of mass of this rectangle which will be in the middle here. As for the x coordinate it's going to be 9 plus half of the 18. So 9 plus another 9 so its x coordinate is going to be 18 y coordinate half of 9 centimeters half of 9 would be just 9 over 2 now when it comes to these two triangles what we're going to do is work out the mean of the three coordinates okay so we need to get these vertices the coordinates of the vertices so let's just start with this one we clearly go 27 units up, the 9 and then the 18. So we've got that its coordinates are 0, 27 for that point there. This point here is 36 centimetres up, so its coordinate is going to be 0, 36. And as for the F, it's going to be 9 across and 27 units up. So at F we've got the coordinate 9, 27. Okay, so now we have those three coordinates. The center of mass is going to be somewhere around here. And to get that, what we've got to do then is work out the mean of the x and y coordinates of these three coordinates. So we've got that the center of mass then will be at, for the x-coordinate anyway, it'll be 0 plus 0 plus 9, 0 plus 0 plus 9, all divided by 3. And then for the y-coordinate, it's going to be 27 plus 36 plus 27, all divided by 3. So 27 plus 36 plus 27, and that's all divided by 3. And if we work that out, what you're going to get here is 3, and for this one you get 30. So the center of mass here has coordinates 3, 30. Now to get the center of mass where it's going to be for this triangle, it's very easy because we can just use this result. It's the same triangle, we've just got to translate it down to here. So if we just put that center of mass in, and for the x-coordinate, we can see that we've come 3 centimeters in from this edge here. So we've got to come 3 centimeters in from this dotted line here. And that dotted line is a distance of 9 plus 18, that's 27 centimeters, 
Then we've got to do a further 3 centimeters, so that's going to take us up to 30. And as for the y coordinate here, well, we can see that it's going to be the same as this one here. Now we've come up 9 and a further 18, so that's 27 centimeters to there. And to get to the 30, we've got to go another 3 centimeters. So it's got to be 3 centimeters up from the edge BC. So 33 would be that coordinate for the center of mass of that triangle. So we've now got the coordinates then of the center of mass of each of the shapes. All we now need to do is to work out the individual masses of these shapes. And to do that, we're going to say let the mass per unit area, okay, so mass per unit area equal some constant. I'm just going to say it's going to equal m. So we can then get that mass by looking at the areas all for all the various shapes. So for this rectangle here, we've just got to do 27 multiplied by 9 to get the area. 27 times 9 gives us 243. So this mass here is going to be 243 m. For this rectangle here, we've got 18 by 9. 18 times 9 gives us 162, so that's this area, but its mass will be 162m. As for the triangles, we've got the base, 9, times the height here, which is 9, and then we've got to divide by 2. 9 times 9 is 81. Divide by 2 is giving us 81 over 2 for the area. So its mass will be 81 over 2 all multiplied by m. And the same would apply to this one. The mass would be 81 over 2 m. So we've now got the individual masses. What we need to do is prepare the way now to take moments about the edge AB and the edge BC. But before we can do that, we need the total mass. So the total mass will be the sum of all these individual masses. And so we've got two lots of 81 over 2m, so we can just mark that in, two lots of 81 over 2m. And then we've got plus the 243m, and also this rectangle here, 162m. And if you work that out, what you end up with is a total mass of 486m. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take moments about the y-axis here, or the edge AB. So we'll just say take moments about the y-axis, all right? And if we take moments about the y-axis, what we've got is the total mass multiplied by the distance that the center of mass is for the whole plate about the y-axis. And you'll notice I haven't put that in at the moment, so we need to put that in. So where's the center of mass of the whole plate, the thing that we're trying to find? Where's it going to be? Well, it's going to be somewhere around here. I notice that this shape is symmetrical about this diagonal through here. So I know that really I would normally write x bar, y bar, but to, and I will actually this time, but y bar will be the same as x bar because it's symmetrical along this line here, y equals x. Anyway, so what we've got then is if we take moments about the y axis, we've got the total mass, which is 486, let's just put it here, 486 m multiplied by this distance to the y-axis, which is going to be x-bar. And that total moment then is equal to the moment of all the individual areas, or masses I really should say, about the y-axis. So if we start with the triangle here, we've got the mass 81 over 2m, 
81 over 2m and that is multiplied by the distance to the y-axis which we can see is 3. Then we plus this rectangle here we've got the mass 243m and then we multiply that by the distance here 9 over 2. Okay what else we've got? This mass here 162m multiplied by the distance to the y-axis which is 18 units so 18 and finally we've got for this triangle the mass 81 over 2 m and that's multiplied by the distance to the y-axis which is 30 so just about squeeze that in there so if we tidy this up you'll notice that m is in every term so we can cancel that out okay so that leaves us with 486 x bar so we'll just move it over here 486 x bar and that equals the value you're going to get when you type this into your calculator you should find you get 5346 so to get x bar just simply divide 5346 then by 486 and what you should find you get is that x bar equals 11 exactly 11 centimeters in this particular instance well that was part one to get the distance that the center of mass was from a b so to get the distance from the edge b c in part two as i mentioned earlier because this is on the line of symmetry here the shape is symmetrical y bar should be the same as x bar so we see that y bar equals 11 then by symmetry okay so i hope that's given you an idea then how we can establish x bar y bar